Minister of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Sidney Alicock, reaffirmed the government's commitment to working closely with hinterland residents. Here are the details. The Vice President and Minister Alicock, accompanied by Minister of Public Affairs, Don Hastings-Williams, made the remarks during a visit to Chenoweng Village, Upper Mazaruni, Region 7. He noted that despite the heavy task, the government is not backing down and is working for its indigenous people. And we have recognized those things. We have been planning and we have now in the ministry have employed more CDOs, more welfare officers to look after the birth certificates, to look after your general everyday work and to help the community with their development. Minister Alicock, however, noted that over the years, despite the government's investment in the community, several pieces of equipment given were badly mismanaged. Our observation is that we've seen some expensive equipment lying for the want of probably a battery, for the want of just a little part. And that is not proper management. I think things were given to you without a plan. We would like to correct that because these equipment are very expensive and it is taxpayers' money that we are getting to spend. Since taking office in 2015, the government invested heavily in Chinoweng's development. These include in a multipurpose center, an ATV, a rest house, a village office, a wooden boat, and provision of training for 15 youths through the Hinterland Employment and Youth Service, Hayes, program. In 2018, a $1.5 million fund will be provided for the community to undertake a project of their choice.